morning, Richmond High. My name is Berta Campos, and this is the weekly news coming at you. Buenos días, Richmond High. Mi nombre es Valeria Romo, y estas son las noticias semanales. In this rally, teachers and students went up against each other in a soccer game. We also had teachers and staff do a halftime show. Safe to say, the students won the soccer game 11 to 12. En este rally, maestros y estudiantes se enfrentaron en un partido de fútbol. También los maestros y el personal hicieron un espectáculo de medio tiempo. Es seguro decir que los estudiantes ganaron el partido de fútbol 11 a 12. Huh? I'm here with Nazi. Um, are you excited to play? Yeah. Are you going to break their ankles? Yeah. Who are you excited to play against? Mr. Madden. And why? Because he's the only teacher that I have that's on the other team. Do you think you're going to get tired? No, I'm not going to try that hard. How many goals are you going to make? Like two. Okay, aim high. Shoot for the stars, aim for the moon. Thank you. Today I'm here with? Ms. Barragan. Are you excited today? Yes. Are you ready to break the ankles? I hope so. Can you? I used to play soccer, but it's been a minute. And how many goals do you think are you going to make today? Myself? At least one, hopefully. Okay, thank you. What are you doing here? I'm being the timekeeper. Oh, okay. It's a timekeeper. Why do you, are you going to go play today? No. It's strictly just students and teachers. Yeah, it's okay. You can pass for a student. <laughs> It feels bad, you know. But hey, we do our best for sure. You guys are doing good though. <laughs> Sweaty. It's hot in here. And how are your competitors? They're good. Uh, specifically, Nazi keeps nutmegging me, but you know, I'm gonna watch out for it next time. Did he warn you in class? He did. I didn't think he was serious, but I learned. Okay, well, good luck. 
Thank you. Run. Our reporters asked you guys what your favorite Ninja Turtle is. For those who don't know what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are, they are four turtle brothers with human characteristics that are trained in ninjutsu, who fight evil in New York City. Nuestros reporteros les preguntaron cuál es tu tortuga ninja favorita. Para aquellos que no saben qué son las tortugas ninjas mutantes adolescentes, son cuatro hermanos tortugas con características humanas entrenados en ninjutsu que luchan contra el mal en la ciudad de New York. Alright, what's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Raphael. And what? Um. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> How does that person relate to you? Um. He just like me for real. If you could change his weapon, would you? Yeah, I'd probably give him like a bazooka. You want to wear his mask? Yeah. How do you like? Wait, actually, hold on, 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 American <laughs> Donnie's bow style. And why? Because it just seems, you know, more more culture appropriate. I can't see it in this thing. I can't see What's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Michelangelo. And why? Because he's like a funny and like he always lightens up the mood. His energy is so good all the time. <laughs> That's my ninja. And how does that person resonate with you? I lighten up the room. I have good energy most of the time. And if you could change your weapon, what would it be? I don't know, cause he it go he go hard with the nunchucks, but I was like maybe like machete type, like two of them. I don't know. Ooh, maybe, that's maybe, cool. maybe. Look, that's cool though. 2023 finally came to an end. So many memories were made, but what was your favorite memory of the year? El 2023 finalmente llegó a su fin. Se crearon muchos recuerdos, pero ¿cuál fue tu recuerdo favorito del año? My name is Kyra Easter, and I'm a licensed mental health therapist. Um, Aaron, and I'm in Health Academy. My name is Keytrick. I'm in the ninth grade, and I'm in the Health Academy. My name is Hudson, and I'm the art teacher. Uh, my name is Sandra, I'm a senior, and I'm in Health My name is Mia, and I'm a senior, and I'm in Health Academy. What was your favorite moment of 2023? When Real Madrid signed Jude Bellingham. My favorite moment was when we took a group of 35 students to Washington, D.C. to go visit over seven different HBCUs, which is the acronym for Historically Black Colleges and Universities. So that was my most proudest moment because, I mean, to take all these young people from Richmond across the nation, I think it was a pretty dope moment. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, because mm. you went. Yeah. <laughs> um. Joining the basketball team, I guess. In here? Yeah, even though we suck. Purchased a new home. I think it had to be winning TCAL champs with uh, my partner. Oh, I kind of don't have one. Um, what is my favorite homie? You had a lot. What about with Ariana? Yeah, getting closer to my new best friend. Um, yeah. Yeah, I won the Richmond High uh, Biggest Loser oh, contest. Yeah, I remember that. yeah th th that's the highlight of my year. Move, move. <laughs> when it ended. Oh, period. I'm not your favorite moment of 2023. I don't remember. You don't remember? Yeah. Okay. Raven, Raven, what was, what was your favorite moment of 2023? See my man. That's not my man. No, I'm lying. Hell no. Nah. Favorite moment of 2023 was me. It me some more. My birthday. My birthday was. Oh, okay. Come on. Miss Miss President. Miss President. Miss President. Miss President. Miss President. Being able to create my dancing. Kyra Easter and I am. I don't know what I do. Let's restart. Go, go, go. Shake it. Shake it. I walked into the wrong thing. What's your name? Wait! Oh! Okay, now. Most people come up with a resolution at the end of the year. So, what's your New Year's resolution? A la mayoría de las personas se les ocurre una resolución al final del año. Entonces, ¿cuál es tu resolución del año nuevo? What is your name, Great Academy? 
Liliana Medina Engineering and Juniors. Yeah, and then my name is Jocelyn. I'm a junior in my health academy. I'm in health academy. Yeah. And what was your New Year's resolution this year? Um, probably get money, go to the gym, and get better grades. Um, I'm almost the same too. What is your name, and what do you teach at Richmond High? Uh, my name is Mr. Noonan, and I teach psychology. And what is your New Year's resolution this year? You know, my New Year's resolution is to have hope that all the worries I have will be taken care of. They'll be taken care of. That's it. Okay. It's not lose weight or any of those, those ones. It's uh, <laughs> to be assured that things will get taken care of. What's your name, Graden Academy? So my name is Fernie. I'm a senior and I'm in health right now. And what was your New Year's resolution this year? It was to read more books. You know, I want to get into more reading. Last year was four books a month. I switched it to eight books a month now, and I'm on the right path. What is your name, Grade and Academy? My name is Carla, and I'm a 12th grader, and um, I'm in engineering. My name is Andrea, and I'm a junior. And what was your New Year's resolution this year? My New Year's resolution was to do better, and I did because my grades are up, and yeah. My New Year's resolution was to cut people out, mm. cut people off out of my life. You know, and I did, and I'm doing so much better. Period. Up there. And now on to sports. Y ahora el segmento deportivo. The boys soccer team had a great game this last Saturday against Albany High with a win of 4-0. El equipo de fútbol masculino tuvo un gran partido este último. Sábado contra Albany High con una victoria de 4 a 0. The girls' soccer team went against Skyline High that same Saturday, but they sadly took a loss with a score of 1 to 2. Here's the footage of their senior night. El equipo de fútbol femenino se enfrentó a Skyline High ese mismo sábado, pero con un tristeza pedrón con un marcador de 1 a 2. Aquí hay imágenes de su noche de último año. We're at the 2024 girls soccer game and and how, how do you feel about it like what's running through your head right now i feel so good even though we took a fat l it wasn't that bad but i feel happy to be with my teammates and my family how do you feel that this is your last year playing i feel so good i'm so happy to get out of here but out of that i'm not going to be playing soccer with my teammates anymore What's your favorite memory of like your whole your whole year's playing? Probably be like my freshman year, learning how to kick a ball because I didn't know how to kick a ball and my coaches never gave up on me. Oh, that is super sweet! Oh. How do you feel about tonight's game and your senior night? Um, it's a pretty good game. I mean, it was tough. It con- kind of complicated because we couldn't find a team, but overall it was a good game. What's running through your head knowing that right now this is like your last year playing? For breaking because I've been in the team for like last three years. Be Franco, I'm really grateful for them and Damaris and everyone. What's your favorite memory of your time playing? Um, making the friendships with every single girl. Aww, congratulations! Am I here with? With Mia. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So how, how do you feel that, how, feel, how do you feel about tonight being your senior name right now? Uh, there's a lot of emotions. Definitely happy even though it is my last year. Um, at least I did end it in a good way with all my family and friends, which I loved, and yeah. So what, what is your favorite memory of like your whole time playing? Um, definitely making friendships with all the girls. That that was really important to me, and that's what I really wanted. And being able to experience like these practices with them and learning off of what they can teach me, that was definitely an experience too. So what was my, what was my last question? I had three. I really- feel like knowing like this is your last year playing uh sad really sad i've been here for three years and the feel of leaving here just sucks because it's like i've built so much memories and experience with them and it's just leaving them it just hurts congratulations <laughs> don't stop i did it come here come here alicia how does it feel like tonight's your senior night right now um it feels sad but it also feels like once in a lifetime experience i would say you don't get to live a senior senior night twice but memorable and i really love it because it shows like a lot of emotion on the team 
How does it feel knowing that this year's your last year, last year ever playing with them? <laughs> it feels very, I feel sad because it's my last time building chemistry with anyone. But I'm really happy to know that I got to build friendships off this sport and I'm very thankful for it too. Well, what's your favorite memory of like this, of this whole year you've been playing? That I made a goal in the first game at Man Diablo. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you. Let's aside. We're going to start with number four, Adeline Macias. Right? Four years ago, I remember I barely knew how to kick a ball, yet I was welcome and happy to be part of the team. A team which I've grown to love and enjoy spending my time with. I, I want to thank my coaches, who always push me to do better. Also, my family and my friends who have been on this journey with me and have supported me from the stand. Number four, signing out. We have number 11, numero 11, Alicia Velasquez Loya. Righteous man exists. Sad men cannot cry in place where men can see. Never we can see. I have made throughout the three years on the team have been a learning experience. I want to thank the coaches for always helping me as a player and the motivation that has been given to me to help me continue. I want to thank my friends, my family, and my teammates for always always supporting and helping me throughout the journey. Thank you for a memorable season. Number seven, Deborah Sanchez. Woo! Again, Deborah, right? Don't take the sport you play for granted. Woo! Number 15, Briana Gomez. Brianna writes, this season I found more than adrenaline of a game and new skills. My girls have accepted me and included me so quickly as if we've known each other all our lives, creating countless memories. My coaches who never gave up and always saw potential in me, guided me and had a ton of patience. My team, my second home, where I will forever be grateful for the love on and off the field. Thank you everyone who made the senior year special. Number 15, signing out. Number 17, numero 17, Berenice Rocha. Berenice took her brother. These two years have been short, but I've made long lasting memories with the girls I love. I have met so many great and amazing people which I had great bonds with. I want to thank my family and my friends for always being there along the way, and my coaches for making everything a learning experience and pushing me to the fullest. I'm going to miss those fun times I spent with the team. A special thanks to the coaches for never giving up on us. I will always be nothing but genuine love to the girls that I met along the way. Number 17, signing out. Number 18, Rodicio Chomilla Gutierrez. Says these past three years of being on the soccer team have been such a memorable experience for me. I learned many new skills and what it's like to be a part of it. I was given growth and guidance. Thanks to my coaches as well as my teammates. I also want to thank my family and friends for supporting me along my journey on the team. Playing as a senior was definitely a special moment for me, knowing it was my last chance to support. Yours truly, number 18, goalie signing out. Number 10, numero 10, Alexia de la Cruz. <laughs> Alexia writes, the last three years with the team have been nothing but great. This 23-24 season hit a little different than the others. It felt like yesterday when I thought I, thought I had so much time left to enjoy high school soccer. The day has come. Today it has officially come to an end. I want to start off by thanking the one person who is so special to me, the one who never missed one game for the world, my mom. My dad for always supporting me in every way possible, and my little sister Mel, who was always pushing me to be better. Last but not least, I want to thank my coaches, Franco, Johnny, Joseph, and Amari, for always helping me find that spark in me when I couldn't find it in myself. Number 10, signing off. The boys basketball team took a loss against Bethel this Tuesday with a final score of 20 to 73. El equipo de baloncesto masculino perdió contra Bethel este martes con un marcador final de 20 a 73. 
The girls' basketball team also went against Bethel on Tuesday and, and also took a loss of 24-30. El equipo femenino de Vancesto también se enfrentó a Bethel el martes y perdió 24-30. Adios, Richmond High! Goodbye, Richmond High! That is the quickest thing we've ever done. Sim. <laughs> 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 <laughs>